Hi, everybody, and welcome back to IVEX Running. I am Coach Rachel, and today we have a 30-minute hill walk for you. If you miss any speed or incline changes, don't worry. I want you to look to this side of your screen. We're going to have all of that posted over here for you to see. If you uh, look over on the other side of the screen, you're going to see this really nice progression bar. That's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Make sure you have a water bottle and a towel because we're going to get sweaty. I want you to look down at that tread. Find your start button. Let's get started in three and two and one. Give me 2.5, 3.5. Yeah, I didn't want to dilly-dally anymore today. Today, we are walking up these hills. So 30 minutes, everything is one minute long. So don't worry if you miss any call outs, just know that every minute we're doing something a little bit different today, okay? So we're at 2.5, 3.5, we're here. First minute, we start picking up our pace. And then, good news, since we're walking, you can walk at the same pace through the whole entire workout and we'll just play around with the hills, okay? So get a comfortable pace that's gonna push you, right? So it's not an easy breezy, this is an easy breezy walk, right? I can like have full on conversations. We some, want something a little bit more breathy, something that's gonna make you a little sweaty, all right? So from here, we got 15 seconds, we're at two, five, three, five. We take it up at least 0.5, 3040, oh, oh, right? Uh, and give me a two on the hill. So. When you look down at the tread, give me two on the incline first. Takes a little bit longer to get there. Here we go, 3040 oh, oh, on that speed. We're picking up the pace. Doesn't have to be the fastest just yet. We're still warming up our body. This is just like I always say, you're new to fitness, this is where you need to be. Walking first. You get the heart healthy, you get the body in motion. Then you can start pushing it a little bit further. Just commit to yourself to doing something, to moving your body for at least 30 minutes a day. It's a commitment of consistency. That's how you get better, right? 30 seconds. We can take the hill down. You can pick up your pace a little bit more. 3045. And at that point, this can be the starting pace for the rest of the workout. Still in the warm up, right? That's okay. You want you to take it, your pace up a little bit more. We're going to take the hill off, though. So 15 seconds. We take it back down to our flat road. Then I want 3045. Again, we're pushing our little bit of our pace so it's not so easy. Here we go, take it down to your flat road. I'm gonna pick up my pace. 3045, start pumping the arms. We're one minute here, right? Now for me, that's not gonna get faster than this point right here. So now I know this is my starting point. It's never gonna be faster than where I am here. The challenge is going to be when I have to hold this pace and walk up those hills because we're going up some steep hills today. We have 40 seconds. Our first hill, it's continuous, okay? Every minute it's gonna get a little bit taller, so we're gonna feel it. The first five minutes are gonna feel like a little burning sensation into your whole body. Well, you got it. Get ready, we start with a flat hill. It's on the two. 15 seconds. Look alive, shake out the arms. <sighs> Keep working. Good. How's the pace feel? Feel a little hard at first, your lungs will catch up. Look down, give me two on the incline, now. Two on the incline, now. We go from two to six, all right? Take a little break, and then we'll, we're gonna go down from six to zero. So. Building our way up to the tippy top of the hill. Now we gotta change the way that we move our body a little bit when we're walking up these hills. You just push down into that heel, squeeze the glute a little bit more. Oh yeah, you're squeezing and sculpting those legs. 30 seconds, we take it up to a three. Yeah, for me, it's the legs and then I feel it like by my calves, um, close to my ankles when you start walking up that hill. I kind of like secretly love that pain. I don't know if anybody else loves it, but then you know that you're working. 10 seconds, we go three on the incline. See, already four minutes into the workout. What? Hit three on the incline in three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze everything you got now. Yeah, work in the inner thighs. Even if you are a runner, I don't ever think about doing walking workouts sometimes, but they feel so good when you're done. You're like, yeah, I'm not mad at myself. I just finally, I crushed this 30 minute walk. Sometimes it's not about going the hardest. I tell myself that all the time. 
It's not about just giving 110% every single time. You're not gonna be able to. It's like, sometimes your energy, energy levels are just slow. You know, sometimes you didn't sleep at night. You ate like crap the day before. You know what you're capable of, so you know you're not performing at 100%, but you are still showing up for yourself at 100%. That's where I'm trying to get. That's what's important. We take it up to a four, three, two, one. Remember, fight the urge to hold on to the handlebars. We're not doing that, that's, that's cheating. We're doing the work here. Yeah, it's gonna get a little more harder, a little bit more uncomfortable. The next three minutes, right? The hardest parts of the workout are gonna be right here, okay? Think about that. We do it two or three times. It's a little tough part, it's a hill, it's a hill in your head. We just gotta get over the hill. Keep walking, keep squeezing. Strain up that spine. Pump the arms a little bit more. How are we feeling, kids? Feeling good? Woo! Oh yeah. 20 seconds, we take it up to our five. We're almost to the tippy top of that hill. Don't stress about it. We got it, one foot in front of the other. Here we go, in five, in four, in three, two, five on that incline. Here we go, here we go. One more hill, right? So it's gonna get harder one more time. We take it back down to that flat road, okay? what I say? Right here, it's gonna be the hardest part. Get your mind right. You can handle it. If you need to slow down your pace, slow down your pace 0 0.1, 0.2 in order to hold the hill without grabbing onto the handlebars. All right? Rather you slow down your pace than actually grab onto the handlebars. Keep going. Come on. This isn't it. This isn't the hard part. This is the warm up before the hard part. You want the hard part, and it's coming in 15 seconds. Oh, I feel it. Feel it in my shin. My shin's on fire. Here we go. Six on the incline. In five, four, three, two. Six on the incline. Guess what, though? We take it back down to our flat road right after this. So I want you to just tune everything out. All right, there's no pain, there's no burning. It's not hard. We're walking, all we're doing is walking. Walking up the hill, keep walking. Halfway there. Come on, these are the moments that we were made of where you put a little doubt in your head and then you just totally crush it, right? We don't allow that to take us over to be the thing that we are. We shut that thing up. We push a little harder. No self-doubt. We go back down flat road in 10, in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh yeah, I'm excited to hit that. Oh yeah. Three, oh, four, five. The pace can stay the same. All right. That's section number one, all right? Now, we start from the top, okay? And then we go down. So we start at six and then take it back down. We're at the hill right here. We hit the top, it's a little flat. We gotta go back down. The hardest part is the beginning, okay? Every minute after that's gonna get easier. Just keep telling yourself that, because it is. So let that hardest minute, the first one, you just take your mind. No distractions. 60 seconds of your life, yeah. Your legs might be a little fatigued, a little burning still. We're going back up to that six. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, six on the incline. Walk it out. Good. By the time we get all the way up, 30 seconds left or so, then we start taking it back down. Good, squeeze those inner thighs, right? Pump the arms, nice long neck. There we go. 
See, just like that. We're halfway there already. Keep going, keep going. Pump the arms. Always can use like little weights if you have one pounders. I would just say you don't really need to, but you always wanna go like you're not, your walking is a little easy, jogging is a little hard, there's still a little in between room. Just try to change it up like that, you know? We're gonna take it down to a five. First moment of relief in four, three, two. Not a whole lot, just a little. It's just like encouraging you to keep moving, that you got it. It's gonna keep getting easier the longer you stay on, right? The longer you push through it, it's gonna get easier. That's the decline, Hilly. So let's work. Whew. After the three, okay, the four is still you feel it. Three, you don't feel. Maybe a little. Come on, come on. We got 20 minutes left of this workout. We're a third of the way there. We got like the two hard parts out. We might have one more, but for the most part, all the hard parts are done, okay? Easy sailing here. We take it down to our four on our incline in 10. Keep walking. In six, five, four, three, two, four on that incline. Instantly feel a little bit easier, right? Your all lungs start to open a little bit more. You get that little sense of relief. You're like, okay, I got it. I know it's tough. I mean, because walking, yeah, but walking on a hill is a totally different story. You're working different parts of your legs. You wouldn't normally work. 30 seconds, we're down to that three. You guys are killing it today. Come on. Almost there. Down to the three. In 10. Come on, team. Five, four, three, two, three on the incline. It's okay if your legs fall off. You know? That's how, how fast we're walking today. You're gonna need to place them back on yourselves tall spine. I do it too. I start hunching too far forward. Shoulders back, chest up. Squeeze the glutes. There we go. Throwing it in the glutes. Get ready. 30 seconds. We take it down to the toe. It's getting a lot easier, right? What I say after we get to three? Three is the moment you're like, okay, I got it. I can breathe. I can live. It's not so bad. 15 seconds. Take it down to the two. Keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, two on that incline. After this one though, we have a little recovery moment. Take it down to our flat road right after this. So you get a whole minute of recovery. Then we go into our third and final round, right? It's a hill, flat road, hill, flat road. Just a little bit longer, okay? We've already working hard for almost 15 minutes. What's 10 more? It's not gonna feel so bad, I promise. And the hills, they only go up to a four, all right? That's good news. Flat road to a four, flat road to a four, flat road to a four. Here we go. 10, we go to our flat road first. Five, four, three, two, one. Flat road. Okay, well here is the kicker. I'm looking at it. The hills are two minutes long. So it's two minutes and a four. I'll save the bonus round. You don't be mad at me. Come on. It's only at a four. The speed doesn't have to change. Two minutes at a four, one minute recovery. I was like, 
We have way too much time for these to only be a minute long. All right, how are we feeling? Are you ready? You only have five, okay? Five hills. Let's get it going. Four on the incline. Not the most aggressive. I told you it's not gonna get harder. We've already been here. So let's just go tackle it. This is another thing we have to get through, right? See how much we can enjoy it on the way. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four on the incline. Keep going, keep going. You guys keep going on time, my shoe. Here we go. It's clicking way too much. All right. Keep pumping, keep pumping. Good. But not super aggressive, right? Yeah, four. Four, we got this. Squeeze the glutes. Pump the arms. 90 seconds left. Yeah, a minute. It's not so bad. Smile, guys. We're in the last chunk of this workout. The moment where your body sets in, where it starts to tell you, oh my God, I'm getting tired. I could just stop now. I did enough. Don't finish it. All right? Do something start to finish. Dedicate 30 minutes to yourself a day, at least. One minute left. Listen to that music, man. Jam out. We're gonna take it back to our flat road. Down with hill number one. 45 seconds, okay? Yeah, see? You only have to do this four more times. You thought that this was gonna be really tough. It's not. I told you, we hit that six on that hill. That was the hard part. This, all this we made easy now. 30 seconds. Who's sweaty today? Who would have knew? Walking makes you sweaty. I say it every time. When after I had my kids, I just walked and I lost all my baby weight. All the time. I would put both of them in the stroller, take off, be gone for a couple hours, but it was well worth it. Three, two, flat road. Got to spend time with them, got fresh air, got some exercise, and all I did was walk. Now, it does help, and it will change your body. But things like this, like doing the same thing over and over again, going out, walking the same path, yeah, it's gonna work. Eventually your body gets used to that. That's why changing it up, even if you're on the treadmill, right? We're just doing a different workout. 30 minutes, there's so many different things you could do for 30 minutes. It's gonna keep your body guessing and it's gonna keep it changing. So, meet me here. We do the hard part, we make up the workouts. You just gotta show up. It's the easy part. You just doing the work, it's the easy part. Get ready. We're going into our hill number two, two minutes long. You ready? In 10. In six, five, four, three, two, let's go. Four on that incline. I'm in it now. Now we can kind of do this forever. 45 minute hour long walk. Again, heel to toe, right? Squeezing that glute, you should feel it in the hamstring and the glute. Feel it in the hip flexors, right? Your legs and your lower abdomens are pulling your legs forward. Your glutes are squeezing your butt back, right? Good, 90 seconds. Nice, you go. That moment where you hit that peaceful zen spot, did that just happen? Did we all hit it together? I think so. You got one minute left here, okay? Just keep going. Just keep working. Just keep pumping those arms. We take it back down to our flat road after this. So you got about 50 seconds, a little bit more of discomfort. Right? That's all I'm gonna call it. Because you can handle it. It's just uncomfortable. That's where we're gonna challenge ourselves, so. That's where we're gonna change your body. 
in a little uncomfort zone. 30 seconds. We take it down. Keep it going, keep it going. Flat row coming up. You got three more hills, right? You got 10 more minutes, three more hills, and that's it, right? Then the party's over. Then you're gonna wanna restart it, because I know you don't want it to end. I, I feel you. You got five, four, three, two. Give me that flat road. Remember to hydrate when you need. Flat roads are better, less things I need to coordinate, you know? Oh yeah. Get ready. <clears throat> Swing out those arms. Shake it out. You ready? Three more. 30 seconds. We already did it, right? I don't wanna hear anybody complain about it. We've already done it. It's already embedded into us. We know what to do. We just gotta go through the motions now, okay? Every moment that it's difficult, you ask yourself, why are you, why are you thinking it's difficult, okay? Why do you think it's tough? Have a little private discussion with yourself. Three, two, one, because you got it. We already did it. Hit the four on the incline if you did it. Two minutes here. We're in the home stretch. Oh yeah. Work those abs. Squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful job, guys. We're at the top. Let's go. We got 90 seconds left. I know, like, this all feels a little easy. You, like, go up to six again for the last one? I don't know. Do you want to try? I'll give you an option. Don't worry, we're not there yet. We still have one more. One more here. We're on. This is number three. We have five. So we have one more in between before we get to the last one. Try not to confuse you guys. Yeah. One minute left though. Then we take it down to our flat road. Good, 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 good. What are you thinking about? I wanna know. Where did your head go? When I'm walking, I feel like I can, and I'm not pushing myself mentally so much that I get like all the creative juices going in my head. It's like working me out just enough to jumpstart my brain flow. When I'm running, I'm like laser focused into the running and the running only. Walking, nope, that's therapy. 20 seconds, we take it back down to our flat road. Getting ready for our two final pushes. Last two coming up. You got 10. You got eight. You got five, four, three, two. Taking it down. One more before the last one. Does anybody do that on the treadmill? If you're not with me, you're like looking at the time. We got 30 minutes and I'm like, oh, I only got 15 minutes. So I got 15 minutes left. Oh, I only got 15 minutes. So I got five minutes left. But you do math in your head to make it a little bit easier, right? We all do that. So that's, that's called welcome to being crazy, finally. Just kidding. If it just makes your thought process, makes it go by easier when you're like cutting it in half, giving yourself a tiny new little goals instead of one big one. It doesn't feel as aggressive. That's why our brain does it. So we're trying to accomplish it, but the big, the end goal seems so hard that we start breaking it up. So we're like, okay, if I can do this and I can do this, right? That's an amazing and beautiful quality. So if you do do that, you make it so that you finish no matter what. Sense of a fighter. Here we go, three, two, up to four and an incline. All right. I wasn't cheating the time, I know. Eye on the clock, always. All right, this is two left, okay? This one's at a four. Do you wanna try to go harder on the last one? I mean, why not? If it's too hard, you could take it down. But 
enjoy this one, right? We got, we got comfortable at that four incline. We're like, oh, yeah, I can go a couple more rounds, you know? So let's push ourselves, let's end with the bang and push ourselves out of our comfort zone on the last one. It's not there yet though. So get your head right, the body right. Inhale through the nose. One more minute, here we go. Can you believe that you were 25 minutes into this workout already? How good do you feel? I know you feel good. I know you like it. Almost there. I'm proud of you guys. Hills probably my least favorite thing to do on the treadmill and I never do them unless they're like someone forces me to do them. So I'm calling them out saying that the next workouts all gonna have hills in it because you got to do what you don't like that's the rule of thumb so your body needs what you don't like because it, your brain is telling you it's difficult for a reason it's kind of probably because you need it 20 seconds we take it down to a flat road pump 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 last 10 last eight Five, four, three, two, flat road. All right. We have one minute on this recovery walk. <sighs> Last one. Let's end hard, okay? Right? We already did it twice. The last two minutes, six on the incline. You want to try the five, somewhere over four, okay? We're going to just end with the bang a little bit harder in the third half pushing out of our comfort zone, you're gonna feel a lot better. After this, we take it down to a flat road and we're done. So you give me two minutes of the steepest, longest uphill walk. Here we go. Five or six on the incline. Maybe five then six or six then five. I'll give you a one minute cue in. Here we go, 10, nine, First minute coming up. What are you gonna do? You pick your poison. Three, two, one. I'm going six. Feeling froggy today. I'm gonna leap. Here we go. I don't know. Mom joke? Come on. I'm cracking myself up over here. Okay, we're past the four. Feeling it now. Hamstrings activated. Beautiful job, beautiful job. We're 90 seconds left. Let's go. Actually, I think I got it, right? I was stressing myself like six is gonna be so much different. Six is gonna be so hard. Nah, even I play games in my head. We got it. Keep working. Don't forget to smile. Working out gives you endorphins and makes you happy. Oh yeah, guess what? One minute left, let's go. Come on, look at me, I'm looking at you. One minute left on this clock, we take it into our flat road, we take it right down to a cool down, drop, or cool down walk. So it's two, five, three, five. The pace gets real slow, no hill. We slow it down, I want you to, I encourage you to take it down to the slowest. We've been walking fast this whole time. Whew, speed's been up there. We have a minute to decline off this six incline hill, right? So maybe just slow up the pace. 30 seconds left. Whew. Squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the arms. Let's go. Pump, pump, pump it up. Come on, last 20. Whew. All the way up, all the way up. No if, ands, or buts today. 10, eight, Six, five, four, three, two, flat road. Two, five, three, five. Oh, baby, how do we feel? I know you feel good. I know you want more. Woo, last minute right here on the clock. Inhale, exhale. You don't realize how fast walking at like a 
a four, four, five speed is until you slow it down. You're like, oh, okay, I guess that really was moving. Last 30 seconds, guys. <laughs> you guys should be incredibly, incredibly proud. Even if this is your first or your 500 workout, the, the point is that you come here and you show up and you finish. That's all you can ask for. Everybody look down at your tread. You can count with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Everybody find that stop button. Remember, this is Ibex running. 30-minute hill walking workout for you. I'm Coach Rachel. I'll see you next time.